Hey, what's up, everybody? Mike and 2MDX here in the shack. And today is the part two video of the HL2 Pi Mini that I built and designed. I'm going to do Raspberry Pi 5. Um, I want to just show you something um, I set up, which is um, this pack here um, that's been 3D printed, which contains a, um, a charging board and a portable pack battery pack and you're probably saying well why is this little this little cable so short and there's a reason for it um if you don't keep this as short as possible you get charging indicator issues on the screen and, and it causes the radio to shut down so you got to keep that as short as possible and we connect it just like that and you can attach it to the back of this when you go portable, which I have a strap in the back as well. Okay. Pretty much sits just like this. And that's how that pack goes. As you can see there. Okay. Um... So, yeah, it's a it's a 10 milliampere battery pack in here, and um, switch key. Okay, now it's turned on. As you can see it in there, it's fully charged, and uh, we'll connect the pack. <clears throat> Let's grab my Wi Fi information. <clears throat> okay, let's turn on my keyboard, make sure my uh, Bluetooth speaker is connected. It's connected. Hermes is on, and then now let's start up our um, our Pi, and then the let's see here what we're gonna do. I think 40 meters is kind of dead today, huh? Neither is just the band's all quiet today. That's wild. Let's go back to 40. So yeah, so no cables, as you can see, all by itself. And right now I am Wi-Fi to the Hermes, right here. Wednesday evening, check in with JR, KO 4 
And what's cool about this is like with the Pi SDR, you can actually, you know, like I have two levels here in the house. Um, Hermes could be downstairs here in the shack and then I could be upstairs and operate. Um, all I need is my microphone, Bluetooth, headset, microphone. And um, you can either have one of these if you want, like a little keyboard, or you could just key up right here. It'll transmit right from the screen. So if you're sitting in bed or sitting out on the patio, you can talk anywhere you want, which is pretty cool. That's why I kind of set it up so I have that portable use. So what we're going to do in the part three video um, is try to set up a hotspot and see if we can get into the Hermes with the Pi SDR uh, from a different location. So that'll be next. But yeah, so for now we have the, we're working on uh, Wi-Fi right now to the, to the Hermes. And R2. And I'm going to tell you, you're not going to get a better waterfall than this. i seen um, that Wolf SDR. i seen uh, the Ubix. And nah, Pi SDR is definitely way better than all of them. How does it compare to Thetis? Um, I prefer Thetis. Thetis is like amazing. Richie's doing a great job with that. Um, but Pi SDR is not as bad. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, you got everything you need here as far as all your functions, your filters, your modes, everything, your band stacks. Um, So everything you need is on this, the same as Thetis, tuning. I mean, there's a lot of stuff here, as you can see. This is a little mini toolbar of everything. I mean, this thing's loaded with stuff. So, for portable use and um, in the shack as well, I mean, you got enough stuff here to keep you busy. You know, Fox operation uh, for the CW guys. You get your pure signal stuff here. If you have to adjust your pure signal, which does auto correcting. Um, yeah, it's fantastic. So, if anybody's into one of these, let me know. I can build and design any which way you like. We're going to be doing a um, another style case too soon. Once I get bored of this one, of course. But I'm having fun with this one, so. And, um, I want to tell you something too. I have um, this little button here which controls the the brightness of the display. So with this, if you want to keep it low, like on this setting, 
that'll help out the battery, just like on your iPhone. It, it'll definitely save more juice on your battery by lowering the, the brightness on the display, which is typical for lithium batteries, you know. <clears throat> like I said, even on the, um, the what you call it, the iPhones, they do that too. These stands on here uh, could be adjusted. I have them loose right now, as you can see, very loose, but I can just to make them more tighter. Um, they're actually the same stands as you can see on the Maestro. So, it may fold back and whatnot. But. <clears throat> Oops. So I just want to show you these guys, the, the Pi Mini. When I want to, um, you know, bring it out in the backyard with the battery pack on the back. It's a cool little setup. I like it. Hey, good morning. Just adjusting the AGC a little bit. Change the meter. Kilo 8 Echo X-ray will plus 20. All right, you're uh, about, oh, you're about 10 over. I am Portable 8 today. Portable 8 is Whiskey Victor, QSL. Roger, Roger. I got you uh, Whiskey Victor. West Virginia, where are you at in West Virginia? Oh, uh, it's uh, sort of southeast. Nicholas County, next to Greenbar County. Uh, I don't know if you know where the Greenbar Hotel is. It's sort of over the hill from that. Roger, Roger. Yeah, I do a ton of camping in West Virginia. It's the last frontier of the East Coast, but I know exactly where that is. Anyway, well, enjoy West Virginia. It is wonderful, and I uh, hope it's not uh, too cold on you. Have fun, 7 
Hey, you, you have fun also. This is my original and my uh, current second home. Uh, yeah, good luck. Seven three. Roger, well, that's even better. Yeah, we're looking for some property uh, up in West Virginia. or We might even entertain, like, Southern uh, Virginia on the North Carolina Virginia line. But, yeah, we, we typically go, we typically head out uh, in, uh, in the summer and spend our summers up in West Virginia wandering around. There's something called the Allegheny Adventure Trail that crisscrosses the Hatfield-McCoy Trail. And so there you go. That's the Pi Mini. I hope you guys like it, because I do. Um... Again, all 3D printed, Raspberry Pi 5, 8 gig, um, 128 card in there, and um, a 10,000 milliampere battery pack. Um, with the most important thing, the short jumper, you got to have one of those, otherwise you're going to run into issues. I had the long one and it didn't give me a lot of problems with the, with the Pi Mini. Um, but hey, and um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun to take portable with me. And um, we still got three lights in there. It's four LEDs, but I haven't charged in a couple of days. So that's probably why I, the other one came off real quick. But four is full, but we've been here a while. So it's been three. It says it'll give me, I think about four hours until it has to be charged. I think it's good. So if you had another one, another pack, you could just drop another. Now you got eight hours. I mean, if you're gonna spend eight hours portable, I mean, whatever, as long as you like. And the packs are really cheap. So if you bought four and you charge all of them, you could be out all day. And then as you're on one, charging another. So it's kind of cool. But uh, yeah, I'm liking the Pi SDR. It's fantastic. They did a great job with this as well. Like I said, um, different gooey than the, than the theaters but uh, pretty much has everything you need the same thing pure signal everything's here if you go back to the digital meter from analog to digital and the digital gives you the signal strength and the mic level as well which I like all right guys thanks for watching and um, we'll make another one soon with the uh, with the hotspot that's something I want to do all right seven three all the best